Hey, good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. In a second, I will be crossing the river into the state of Georgia. Uh, right now, I am in Ufola, Alabama, and I am on my way into Georgetown, Georgia, which is located across the river here. And right now, I am cross I'm crossing the Chattahoochee River into Georgia and I'm and once I get into Georgia I'm gonna be in Georgetown Georgia <clears throat> now for those of you that are not familiar with the state of Georgia there is an actual Georgetown Georgia which is where I'm getting ready to go into and there's also a area in the Savannah in, in the Savannah Georgia area known as Georgetown now, Georgetown, Georgia, which is the town I'm getting ready to enter in a minute here, is in Critchman County, as where Georgetown, which is in the Savannah, Georgia area, is located in Chatham County. So, just so no one gets those two confused, I wanted to clarify that. <clears throat> So in a minute here, I will be entering in the town of Georgetown. All right, I am in Georgetown, Georgia at this point. And Georgetown, Georgia is located right across the river from Eufaula, Alabama. It is located 51 minutes from Columbus, Georgia. So for so if you wanna if you need to get to a larger metro area, <clears throat> the closest metro area to this town is gonna be Columbus, Georgia, which is fifty one minutes away from here. Now the population here in Georgetown is two thousand two hundred and thirty five people and the population has been declining at a rate of eleven percent as of the 2020 census. The median home price is $83,000. And however, if you're wanting to, I mean, uh, it's hard to suggest what price to spend if you're looking to buy anything decent in this town. I'm gonna be honest. It's kind of hard for me to give a hard number. Which I'll get to that in a second. And if you're looking at rents, the median rent prices are going to be from five thirty-two to eleven hundred and one dollars per month. Now, as far as it goes for the crime, oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, just to get an idea of where Georgetown is located, Georgetown is going to be located towards the southwest corner of Georgia. Now on to the crime, which I forgot to calculate. I got the numbers down, but I forgot to I forgot to calculate. So let me calculate the crime real quick here. Give you guys a accurate figure here. And I wrote everything down, but I forgot to to calculate it. Okay, as far as it goes with violent crime, the violent crime is 1.6 times above the national average. Now, taking into consideration that this is a small town, in my opinion, for a small town, those are not the best numbers in the world when it comes to violent crime. However, it's definitely not the worst because there's, there's small towns throughout the Deep South that have violent crime numbers double that amount. Now let's go into property crime, which I gotta plug up that in real quick. And 
Now as far as property crime, property crime is 1.6 times the national average. So again, it's below two times the national average. Now I will say for property crime, as I've said many times before, typically, in, I mean, at least down here in the deep south, typically even in these small towns, your property crime numbers are gonna be anywhere from one and a half times to three times the national average. So again, when it comes to the property crime here, it's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. Now, as far as it goes for the racial makeup of this town, <clears throat> uh, you got 53.2% white, 41 point, you got 41% black, and you got 1.4% Hispanic. Those are the main uh, races that live in this city. And just a little bit of history about this city. I mean, this city, apparently this whole entire city was destroyed in 1903. And I think it was destroyed due to uh, a fire. I mean, no, I mean, the only thing that the only thing that survived was three houses and a post office. Matter of fact, let me check that out. I didn't, didn't even bother to write down why what the store the city in 1903. So I'm gonna check that out real quick. Make sure I'm giving accurate information here. Yeah, it was destroyed by a fire, which was in 1903. I was correct. I just wanted to make sure. And Georgetown is, as I told you at the beginning of the video, it is across from the Chata Coochie River and is also located by the Walter F. George Lake. Now, honestly, when it comes to this town of Georgetown, I mean, the people who I spoke to that live here, I mean, you know, they seem like they're, they're nice people. You know, they appear to, I mean, they were welcoming towards me. But I will say that as far as living here, I mean, if you're looking for a small rural community with little traffic and a relatively low key, quiet atmosphere, this might be the type of town that you might want to come check out. Now, honestly, if I was looking for a smaller community to reside in at this point, if I mean, if someone were to come to me and they were to ask me what small community can they move to? I mean, honestly, I almost rather live in a Fuller. Now, granted, a Fuller, Alabama, I mean, it's a much bigger community than this one, a Fuller, has a little over 11,000 people and I do have a video of a full so, so so feel free to go check out that video but as I was driving around this town I noticed that this town I mean this town does have some clear signs of poverty I'll put it like that and I say that because I noticed that on the road I mean I noticed that a lot of the roads are poorly marked like a lot of the markings that once used to be on the roads, all those markings have faded, faded to the point where you can't even see them. Like when I was like a minute ago, I when I was driving, well, I don't know if, yeah, when I was driving through the downtown area here, which the downtown area, as you guys saw, it's nothing big. 
it's no big deal it's basically it's just a few buildings and that's about it but if you were to come down here for yourself and drive around you would see that uh, some of these roads are in poor condition and the markings that used to be on the roads have faded away and it looks like it's been some time since anyone has came out here and remarked the roads so in my opinion the people here don't seem to be bad people however the town does show some considerable signs of poverty and another reason why I probably rather live across the river in the Fola is also because when it comes to the property taxes, the state of Alabama has a much lower property tax rate compared to Georgia. Like the average property tax rate in Georgia is a little over 9%. I mean, no, no, no. It, it's not nine. I mean, I don't mean nine percent. The the average property tax in Georgia is a little over nine dollars per one thousand dollars of the worth of your your property. As we're in Alabama, your property tax rate is only four dollars per one thousand dollars of the worth of your property. So your tax rates in Alabama are less than half compared to what they are in Georgia. So, and also full of being a much larger city, you also, I mean, look, you also have all your amenities there. So obviously, if you're looking at Georgetown, Georgia, if you <laughs> really want to live in Georgetown that bad, or for whatever reason, you just have to be in the state of Georgia, then, I mean, you know, when it comes to your shopping and just certain type of amenities that you're not gonna find in this town because it's such a small town, obviously you can just go across the river into a folder and find all that. But I'm not saying that this is a bad place to live. It's just that personally, I don't know if this would be where I would wanna live. I think if I was given my options between this and the Fola, I would have lived across the river in, in the Fola. I mean, there's definitely other small towns, even within the state of Georgia, that I've been through. And I mean, I'm gonna do videos of a couple of them. And I mean, I just think, I mean, I just think all in all, me personally, I'd rather go ahead, pay a little bit more money for my housing if necessary, just to live in an area that's a little better than this one. And again, I'm not saying this is a bad area. I'm not saying the people here are bad. I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying, I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying that when it comes to this town, I'm not, exa I'm not exactly impressed. I'll just put it like that. Now I will say one thing and one thing which I believe is going for this town that's good is the fact that it's right by the lake and you're and you're within an hour of Columbus, Georgia. Which Columbus is a nice little city. So that's my two cents about this town. So if you like what you heard, give me a thumbs up. Leave comments in the comments section. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing that. And as always, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Andrew's Life. Until next time. Until next time, everyone have a blessed. Oh, everyone have a blessed one, and I'll see you on the next one.